Hey guys, it's going to bring you guys a showdown live, like I said I would, because I'm not up to where I want to be on Dark Rising, or I still haven't gone back to where I was. See, so yeah, I'm going to do a showdown live for today, which is Monday, and then uh, hopefully I'll be back to where I want to be, or where I was, on Dark Rising. So, well, for tomorrow. So, I'm going to use this uh, RMT, which for those who don't know what that stands for, it's Rate My Team, and yeah, we can just, uh, well, if you want to do it, just go to, like, the rate my team forum on Smogon, or just like Google Smogon rate my team, and I'll get there. And uh, I just like nabbed up a team from there, and yeah, I just I was I was lazy in regards to making teams. I was like, I'll just take one from there. And I grabbed this uh, Sandstorm team, so we'll take a look at it. And uh, I think there's like a lot of stolen teams here because uh, yeah, stolen sand. There's a lot of RMT stolens. So let's see what we're looking for. We're looking for Return of Sand. That's it here. And we'll see what's going on. So we have a choice: Banditar, Renatar. Uh, not too bad. Bulky Band, I like that. Crunch, Stone Edge, Pursuit, Superpower. We have a Focus Sash, Stealth Rock, Guard Chomp, which I've never actually used before, so that's going to be interesting. It's, uh, Jolly. Max Attack, Max Speed. Next up, we have a Defensive, or Special Defensive, Rotom Wash, with Volts of Hydro Pump, T-Wave, and Paints. The T-Wave's good, because T-Wave slows down stuff that Tyranitar can't really outspeed, and can hit hard with, like, a Choice Banded, uh, Crunch, or whatever. Next up, we have Scizor, Choice Band, probably one of my favorite Pokemon, Bulky Band again. Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Superpower, Pursuit. Next up, uh, Physical Defensive, Dawn Fan, Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock, the usual. And finally, Choice Scarf, Dragon. I think this was actually Choice Band, Terrakion at first, which would make sense considering you got Rotom Wash as T-Wave, but I threw a Scarf down on it. I prefer Scarf, Terrak, than Choice Band, so yeah, it's pretty much the thought process behind the team. I, I didn't make it, but I just like altered it a bit with the Choice Band and Terrakion. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So, we're going to look for battle and hopefully get one kind of quick. Yes, we do. And we have a pretty pretty good team here that I can more than likely handle. This guy throws the timer down like right away. Uh, I'm going to try and analyze his team. I'm really off with Rolling Wash. I feel like that's my safest lead. As it leads with Machamp. And because he more than likely has no guard, I know I'm not going to... Actually, I'm going to go for a T-Wave. As he goes for a dynamic punch, there's a hell of a lot. Don't get fully confused, please. Yes, of course you do. Alright, I probably should just go to Ton Fan then and uh, take another dynamic punch. Kind of wanted to go for a T-Wave and then go for Hydro because I know it won't miss. That did a lot of damage. I don't know if that's like the standard damage, but I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks anyway. He has no spinners, so I mean, I don't see why not. And what I can do is go back out into Rotom. Go for a Pain Split, get my HP back. And have no worries. So that's what we'll do, we'll go for a pain split, get my health back. I just gonna switch out into Zirachi, that's cool, I get my HP back on that, nonetheless, because it's pain split. And what I want to do is... I want to T-Wave this thing, because I know it can be annoying. So he's gonna T-Wave me, that's fine, I'm gonna t not T-Wave him back apparently, because I uh, get fully powered. I'm gonna T-Wave again then, as he goes from Iron here, that's not doing a lot, so... If he's actually, he's... It's not gonna work, because he's gonna do like 7%, I'm gonna just get my HP back. And this guy wants, like, really negative speed because he's just, like, whittling me down. Uh, I guess he expected to switch out into Dawn Fan, which, hey, I can't play him before because that would be a good enough switch. What we're going to do is go for a Volt Switch as he Iron Heads and gets the flinch, of course, but I'm pretty much going to get it back with lefties, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it's Volt Switch again. Hopefully get it off this time. Yes, we do. And I can go to Dawn Fan and, uh, Rapid Spin. Definitely Rapid Spin. He's not going to stay in. Surely he's not going to stay in Pirate, or with, like, if in case he gets Pirate and stuff, so, yeah, he's going to switch, go to Skarmory, that's cool, I get rid of his rocks, uh, he's going to set them up again, but that's fine, because I can just go out to Rotom and go for a Volt Switch, and go back to Dawnfan if I need to spin, so, he's going to go for a Whirlwind, that's cool, uh, send me on to my Scizor, I'm going to just go for a U-Turn, as he goes to his, uh, well, he goes for his Stealth Rocks, and now I need to go back to Dawnfan. And rapid spin again, I guess, because there's not really much else I can do. Even I could have went to Rotom, actually, that probably would have been better, but it doesn't matter because, yeah, just want to spin away his hazards, I guess. And make sure he doesn't have them for the battle, even though he can just keep setting them up, and I can just keep knocking them back. So he sets up spikes, that's good. Can spin them away. And now go to my, uh, my Rotom Wash. And like scare him out with a Volt Switch or something. And he's at full, so I think I better Hydro actually in case he wants to switch, which he does, goes to Jirachi, which is definitely gonna take this a lot better than Skarm would, but does a decent amount of damage, so I'm not too 
upset about it. Gets the fully para, unfortunately for him. Which lets me get more damage off. Go back to Donphan. And threaten with a, uh... The Rapids... Well, threaten with a Earthquake. But he's obviously gonna go to Skyrim, so we're gonna Rapid Spin. Okay, no, he's not. He's gonna stay in an Icy Wind, I guess. And do a hell of a... Uh, not really much. I don't know why I said a hell of a lot. That was nothing. So, yeah. He's just been, like, trying to catch a Skarmory. There we go. Jirachi's dead. And, uh, finally kills something after, like, 19 turns. Not the best at OU, in case you didn't know. Why does this team have two stealth walkers? I just noticed that right now. I mean, why? This makes sense. Uh, do I need Don Fan? Yeah, I need to spin. What's he want to do, though? I'm gonna go to T-Tar. Let's see what he wants to do. Con- Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go for- Pursuit seems like my safe play. Why? Misclick, I hope. I hope that was a misclick. <laughs> I hope he misclicked. I really do. I would feel awful if he did not misclick and like just naturally decided I'm gonna go for an, a uh, a side shock on Tyranitar. But anyway, we take that well, and I can just go for an earthquake. He's probably gonna switch out into. All right, no, you're not. I'm gonna stay in and take a lot of damage from that. So that's good. And what do I need this? I would like it for mints. Actually, no, I don't even need it, so that's fine. Get a nice shirt off. Damage is damage. And I can just go to Chomp and go for, I guess, anything I want. I have Fire Blast, so I mean, that's helpful. That's definitely helpful. I have Earthquake, too. This, this Chomp set's actually good for this guy's team. That dies to Rough Skin. I still get confused, though, which sucks. And I don't hurt myself in confusion, though, so that's good. Uh, let's see. I know he may go to Skarm, and <laughs> I can catch it with a Fire Blast, I guess, we'll see. Hopefully I don't get fully- yeah, I, get, I do hurt myself in Confusion. As he sets up rocks, and my Dawn Fan's dead, so that doesn't help. Uh, let's snap out of Confusion, yes, and miss the FB, of course. As this guy's gonna get a Wall of Hazards. <laughs> Great. Now he's gonna switch- I'm gonna hit this one, watch. Bop, there it is, I hit it. I hit that one, of course. And I'm gonna just drag him, I'm gonna predict the switch out, I'm just immense predicting the, uh... Okay, yeah, well he goes to this, this- I predicted it. <laughs> that's that's my That's what I say. I predicted it. And now we fire blast. And almost kill it. Burn. Nope, no burn, but it dies. Uh don't miss again. Chomp! Why chomp? Why? Why couldn't you hit that? Uh it's fire blast again then. And just kill it. Nope. And he's gonna roll with me out into this is just, this is a desirable switch. I'm happy with this switch because I'm pretty sure Bandit Superpower is going to kill at that range. So, oh yes, especially after Roost because now he's going to die. <laughs> so there we go. Kill that. That's great. And he still has hazards, but I have choice to rack. Just waiting. Uh, I'm going to sack Garchomp. Don't need it. And I can just keep clicking close combat with Terrakion and go for an eventual bullet punch on the Mence. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this wrapped up, Lava Plume, whatever. Uh, out into T-Rack. One of my favorite Pokemon, <laughs> it's so good, I love Terrakion. And let's go for a CC, knock that out. Goes into Mence, I just get, that takes, what's it take, about 30% I think from Close Combat? I think it's 30%, we'll see. 46, yeah, that's, that's BP range kill for my, uh, for my scissor, so we're all good here. And, uh, you'll yeah, we'll just go to scissor. Go for the BP. I did a lot more than I thought. 50%, or, uh, 50, 46, yeah, that's it. There we go. So he decides to scoop. And, uh, we'll just find another. So let's look for one. And see how we're doing. So, uh, no weather here. That's good. Uh, Sableye is annoying, because I'm a very physical attacking team. Um, let's lead with... Don fan, I guess, as he's gonna lead off with Gyarados. That's not too desirable. Uh, I'm gonna go right to track just in case he wants to set up a Dragon Dance, which he does. I outspeed because I'm timid. And we're pretty much banking on a Stone Edge hit, and it hits and it kills. So there we go. Tarak just really are you, are you actually kidding me? Good old Tarak just wrecking teams. <laughs> <laughs> wow, alright, that didn't take long. Alright, so we got Durant. Uh, nice, nice little, uh, team we got here. Let's lead with... Chomp. 
as it leads with portraits, I do with fire blast. So we're gonna go for that, reveal it right off the bat, bop, critical hit, take it down, do it sturdy. As he goes for a toxic, cool, uh, that's fine, I take this thing out, he doesn't get any hazards. Let's EQ, and just finish it off as he goes to Chansey, which takes EQ, not fantastic. Oh wait, he does have, yeah, he does have this thing for stealth rock, so I'm gonna set up my rocks. As he's gonna counter, uh, predicted, in inverted commas, or in quotation marks, cause I totally predicted that. Uh, let's go for an EQ then, and see how much we're gonna do. Uh, probably not a lot, why don't I go to this thing actually? I don't know, but whatever. That's not enough. I think we need... I think we need Tarak. I think we need Tarak. We need Tarak right about now. And <laughs> we need Tarak just to wreck this thing. Uh, he's gonna go to Fortress, dies to hazards. Fair enough, I don't need to lose- I don't need to like waste my close combat on something. And I uh, get extra damage off on Jensi when it switches in. Uh, cause then this thing is kind of threatening, uh, run wash. And go for a Volt Switch, then out Scizor with BP, eating that up. And yeah, that's what we do. So, Volt Switch. As he switches out into Jensei, and that's gonna just like let me go to Terrakion then, whatever. Just pick something to die. It's pretty much the case. Just pick something that wants to die. Because they die. Even though I think Venusaur can live a close combat. Yeah, Venusaur definitely lives close combat, so I guess something doesn't die just yet, but it's close enough. <laughs> it's close enough to death. Yeah, so we'll see what he wants to do. Uh, Terak just like close combat something, gets some nice damage off. Does Terakion just gets damage off? That's what it does. And uh, hopefully like sack Chansey because that thing's annoying. Durant though, what's that thing gonna do? Uh, that's like I know Durant is like super fast. I don't know it has home claws, and that's like really bad. <laughs> that's like bad for my team. I'm gonna start the timer because this guy's taking too long. This, yeah, Shonen's not even lagging because the chat's going perfectly fine to my right. And, yeah, it's. He's just taking his time. That's cool. That's cool. He's just think it out. I'm sure he doesn't really know what he wants to go for. Uh. I don't know. I'd, what would I do? What would I do if I was in that situation? I don't know. I'd probably go to Venusaur. It seems that, yeah, it seems like Venusaur is his best switch. Alright, uh, die? Straight up dies. Alright, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just go for another one because why not? I have no reason not to. So, you can just die. Uh, I assumed that thing was supposed to be the threat, but it didn't do anything to make me think it was a threat. So, yeah, <laughs> not even Scarfed or and Sad Face. I don't know. I don't know what that was then. Uh, see, I know he probably one shots me with Focus Blast, so I want to really go to T Tart. I want to go back to. It's Life Orb. Wow, go! Oh, this guy is getting... He's getting offended. He, he got offended by what Neko said. He's like, uh, it's... It's Life Orb. It's like, okay. No need for the sarcasm. <laughs> He's like, clever boy. Neko's a girl. <laughs> Vol switch. Uh, critical hit. Not too shabby. Uh, t rack Just coming in and getting kills. It's... So what this thing is all about, I could quick attack. I'm <laughs> close combat again, no, cause just why not? Keep clicking, keep God, uh, keep clicking CC with Tarak. It just it hurts. It hurts. And there we go. So Weather War One. Uh, I'm not even worried about Venusaur now because I have Tyranitar to get rid of it, and I can eventually kill him with something. So out to Venusaur. Uh, well, I just got a text. So sorry about that noise. Uh, it wasn't even a text, it was a tweet. Someone tweeted me something. Uh, alright, someone followed me. Cool. Uh, <laughs> that's like a weird ringtone I have for a text, too. It's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. but I'm afraid he wants to Giga. I don't know what I can do, though. What can I do if he, if he Gigas? I, uh, I can go to Titar, I think. Oh, wow, he goes for growth, okay. Uh, not really worrying me, but we can go for Choice Band Crunch. Giga does about half, not bad. How much does Crunch do? That much. It just straight up dies. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So, uh, let's Crunch. Missing the Focus Blast, unfortunate for you, my friend. Uh, I think I still had 
Terrakion and Scizor to kill you regardless, so misses two Focus Blasts. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not. Ah, uh, it's not even my fault. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it wasn't even my fault. <laughs> Alright, so let's go with uh, Don Fan to lead. As he leads with this thing, uh, that's no problem. Set up stealth rocks. Ooh, that's not even a problem. <laughs> go for Earthquake. That does nothing. No, not nothing. What does break my sturdy, which sucks. And I uh, will go for Night Shard. And almost kill. And then we go to my boy. Uh, ooh, what do we go to? What do we, yeah, what do we go to? I want to say Terrakion, but then he, he, he locks me in. With Dog Trio. Ah, uh, ooh. You. <laughs> Scizor, you can do it. BP. Let's go. And, uh, yeah, just pull the punch in. So, I assume he probably wants to go to, uh, Doug Trio? No? Do you go to Doug Trio now? Or do you go to Ninetales? If you go to Ninetales, that's bad. Yeah, you go to Nine. Ah, 60 Ninetales. Funny. <laughs> uh, Titar. Sure. Titar, and then we crunch? What does he do? He goes for Sun. Oh, predicted. Uh, let's go to Rotom. Predicting the obvious switch out into Doug Trio. Or we just get Wisped, whatever. Uh, <laughs> sure, that's no problem. Uh, let's Volt. As he goes to this thing, that's cool. Uh, I've already seen that it just straight up dies. So we go to Titar. And we go for a Crunch. Uh, looks like I was like minus defense nature last time, but. Yeah, we just go for Crunch. I think this guy's Life Warp. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he just, just dies. Just dies. Alright. Now he goes to Dug Trio, and he kills me. But I don't know what Pokemon he has that really, like, influences the weather, or, like, weather helps him. So, yeah, I died Earthquake. Cool. Why was I worried? Yeah, why was I worried about Terrakion early? I have Choice Scarf. I have Speed. So, unless he's Scarfed, which he's not, he just dies. Uh, yeah, I'm very worried about... Latias. That's the main thing I'm worried about, because that's a threat. So, let's close combat. This, bop, you die. Uh, I lost the weather warp, but I think I've won the match, so it doesn't matter. And, uh... Oh, what I, I know what I can do. Go to this, take a side shock. Plan ruined. Uh, my plan was to actually... Ooh, I know what I can do. <laughs> my plan was... Oh, no, that's not... This won't work. Will it? Oh, it will work. Yeah, this will work. My plan was to, uh... Uh, to Thunder Wave him and then go to Scizor and just kill it with a U-turn, but that's fine. I do have the Fire Blast. Don't miss now, Chomp. There it is, and that is a good game. So, that guy was pretty easily done. And, uh, what's the time? Get one more. We're at 18 minutes, so we can get one more. And then finish off Pokemon and get like four wins. That'd be pretty nice. That'd be a solid run with this team, actually. Our Caracosta. <laughs> Why am I seeing all these things I've like never really seen in the tier before? All right, Rotom Wash, kick us off, and he is more than likely going to switch. We're going to T Wave. Uh, he could go to Thunderstarian. Yeah, that's what I expected, but doesn't matter. Doesn't get any like HP or anything. He's at full, so that's cool. Let's Hydro Pump. And get a, a lot of damage off. This is like mono. Well, apart from, apart from uh, the Karakos, or not the Apart from the this thing. <laughs> apart from this thing, it's mono uh, water. Scizor. And we just BP kill. Uh, I don't know why I lost my Toronto Watch. That could have been helpful against a lot of his team. Don't know if I need it that much though. So. We'll see, I guess. Gonna switch out into Politoed. Cool, saving that thing, I guess. And I don't have the freeze to switches. Uh, Titar, I suppose. Looks like 
probably my best switch. I got my sand up. You have a scald. Don't burn. Good. That's good. And we can go to... Or we can stay in. Uh, we can stay in and crunch. Which is a ballsy play because he goes for a focus blast. And kills me. But... Yeah, I've... I think I've lost it. <laughs> I've lost it on this battle already. <laughs> like, I've already lost. Uh, CC, I guess. I'm Alright, he goes to this thing to die. I could have went for Stone Age, but I'm actually glad I went for close combat because I don't miss. Uh, yeah, he gets his weather. He's won the weather war really early in the game, which sucks. And I know this doesn't kill. Let's go for it. Oh! The max. The min max. Just, uh, that sucks. Well, I've lost, pretty sure. So, let's, uh, BP, kill this thing off. Got a critical hit, not necessary, but sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, I can't win this thing, I don't think. Starmie, uh, I guess Donphan. I don't see why not. Is it like, just let something die so I can go back to Scizor and go for a U-turn on this thing? Uh, yeah, we'll Earthquake it, I guess. Just get some damage off or not, just die. But, well, we do get damage off because he gets Life Orb Recoil. Uh, Scizor. And we are going to U-turn out. Skull, don't burn me, please. Nope, no burn. This thing dies. Maybe I can... S no, I can't win because he still has... Oh, wait, I'm Scarf. Or no, Scarf, I'm Sash. Hmm. Hmm. Why would you... Why? Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I thought that... Yeah, but... Yeah, I've lost. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. Because this thing doesn't outspeed me. <laughs> Alright, then. Um... Wait. No, I've, I have. I have lost, I think. But... I don't know how much Earthquake does to Keldeo. Why, why am I outspeeding? Don't burn me. Okay. Uh, no, I still lose, but I make it a narrow 1-0, I guess. Because for some reason I was outspeeding with Garchomp, which... Is he bulky Keldeo or something? I don't know, but that dies. And uh, we can just go for a pull up onto this end, then die to whatever he wants to do. So, close finish. Hello? <laughs> is, is this thing of any- Wow, look at all the HP that he's getting back. I'm not touching this thing. Can he just kill me with, like, Scald or something? Yeah, there it is. I don't know why he Aqua, Aqua Ringed in the first place, but... There we go, uh, Secret Assassin Man kills me off. And that is gonna finish off this showdown live. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It seemed alright to me, but... You can tell me if it was good or not. So, yeah, like, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys for more shortly enough. Catch you then.